Hi beautiful people, thank you for tuning in. My name is Lucy and today we are going to talk about uh, ground elder. I was gonna take you uh, on walk with me and show you uh, ground elder in the nature. However, the weather is so unpredictable. We are in mid-March and yesterday it was nice and sunny and I finally managed to uh, find ground elder in the park and uh, I never forage for a uh, ground elder before because I never look out for it but I was on foraging uh, course last weekend and uh, I finally spotted it and now I just see it everywhere I don't have it in my garden I know plenty of the gardeners uh, are not uh, happy about this it's really difficult to get rid of uh, so if you have it in your garden don't fight it, just eat it However, what I was gonna say today, it was really frosty, so everything was covered in frost and uh, I still went for foraging because I don't have uh, time later on, it should be sunny, so hopefully the frost will go away. But I managed to uh, pick up a few, so I'm just uh, letting it soak and uh, let it wash. And also what I did, I collected some uh, blackberries uh, leaves buds and uh, I'm gonna make a tea. Uh, this should be packed with uh, vitamin C and also ground elder and uh, my boyfriend is uh, off sick uh, for a couple of days with really bad flu and uh, I feel something is, you know, I'm coming down with something as well. So I was thinking, you know, let's get some ground elder, let's uh, let's get some uh, vitamin C. So I'm gonna make a tea with the uh, blackberries uh, flower buds and uh, also with ground elder. And later on, I'm gonna make a chicken soup and uh, I will chop it up and just put the ground uh, elder there. And I also save smaller leaves and uh, have it in salad, so have it fresh. I am letting my weird tea combination brew and uh, I can't wait to taste it. I guess it's gonna be nice. My ground elder is nicely washed. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sort out the bigger leaves and the smaller ones. The smaller ones I'm gonna use fresh in salad. So let me show you. It's really good to pick them up uh, whilst they are opening, you know, these little tiny ones. These are really good to eat fresh straight away. It's got really nice uh, parsley sort of flavor. And I can't wait to, to make a salad with it. And uh, these sort of bigger ones, I'm gonna chop them and uh, put it into soup later on. And yes, I think I've got just enough for, for the soup, so it will be nicely green. And uh, there is also some wording about Grand Elder in the foraging guide from Wild Food UK. And let me tell you very interesting stuff you should be aware of. So, once ground elder has flowered, it's said to become a laxative, diuretic and soporific. That means if you eat too much, you could fall asleep and wake up in terrible mess. Ooh. So watch out for this and uh, only consume in small quantities once the plant has flowered and uh, never introduce uh, this highly invasive plant to your garden. You will see it in the nature, it is just massive, it will take over everything. So if uh, you know somebody who has it in the garden and they don't pick it up, uh, you can do them a good uh, deed and uh, ask them to pick up some for your uh, own use and maybe you can share some pesto or whatever. As I said before, the shiny young leaves are a great addition to salads. More mature leaves should be briefly cooked like spinach. So you can use it as uh, any other greens. 
And the possible confusion is with the poisonous dog's mercury. So watch out. But the dog's mercury has got the leaves opposite each other. This is what dog's mercury look like. And I'll show you again. These are the leaves of ground elder. And uh, you could see on the top you've got usually three and these ones they are uh, gonna split. If you see them like uh, in one piece they are usually about to get this uh, split. So I hope you see it okay. And these are just the really young ones coming through. I can't help it. I'm so glad. And I can't believe I never had ground elder before. So this one, it's really must have for you, I guess. And uh, foraging season is between uh, February to October. So now we are in mid-March. And... Uh, you should really get it young and if you've got it in your garden you can cut it and uh, you will have uh, nice new fresh ones again because as I mentioned be careful once the plant flowered you don't want to you know wake up in the horrible mess. So let me know uh, in your comments below what you do with it. Uh, is it your staple? Do you use it every year? And um, I also want to make some pesto. So once the weather is better, I think I will go and uh, pick up some more and make a pesto. I guess it will have like really nice green color. Sorry, I'm looking down a, a lot, but yes, uh, I really like the color. So guys, this is all from me. I hope you find it useful. Please share with your friends and uh, family, spread some love, uh, don't forget to uh, hit the like button and uh, also don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you will see more of my crazy videos. That's all from me guys, from my heart to your heart. Bye until next time.